All right, guys, this is a fun video. I've done other videos on mindset, and this is going to have a similar feel to it. It has to do with being able to laugh at your own horrible misery and fear, pain, and hopelessness. Kind of a quirky, weird topic. But uh, for folks who have been tested by fire, soldiers, or anybody who has to put their life in harm's way, uh, this should immediately resonate. Uh, those who uh, don't have some experience or knowledge of what I'm talking about, you'll probably look on with a certain degree of bewilderment. But there is a great benefit, a, a great strength in being able to find comedy in something that is certainly not comical. And stories flood the surface of examples. So I want to talk about, maybe I'll uh, throw in a few stories here, and I want to talk about kind of the psychology of how this helps and why it helps and why we should try to cultivate this. Because as far as I can tell, even though I've done videos on different mindset, and I'll provide a link for you guys. I've done videos on mindset. This is something I don't hear discussed, and it is a gold mine of uh, strength. Now, base it kind of on uh, a practical premise that any of you guys could understand. Trees. The trees that can withstand hurricane force winds are usually not the big oak trees that stand tall and rigid and huge around. Rather, they're the flexible ones that bend with the horrible winds. I think likewise, when faced with insuperable odds, folks need a certain amount of flexibility, elasticity, so that when horrible things come our way, we're able to not be broken by them. Laughter provides a certain amount of catharsis that not really many other things can. And I don't want to oversell this. I don't want us to be bumbling idiots making jokes and laughs about everything. Because at best, this whole laughing at misery thing is a temporary band-aid, not much of a fix. There's other pieces of undermining uh, or underlying mindset that are even more critical of, you know, that that has to do with kind of like a, you need that good, strong, determined, unbreakable will where I will not be defeated. Uh, another one is loved ones that you stand for, ready to live for and die for. That's really good fighter mindset. I've talked about this uh, other before. Uh, a God who can strengthen and heal and sustain you, carrying you through. That stuff's more important. But this is another really practical uh, piece of advice as well. Um, I think back to just different um, I uh, in basic training uh, for the military. I always kind of looked at it like this. There, It was this big joke that nobody to my left and right seemed to get. The drill sergeants knew it was a joke, and I knew it was a joke, and they figured out real quickly that I uh, think I knew it was because I had this smiling problem. Uh, the, the physical stuff was never very difficult for me. Even the mental games, because I looked at it like just that, a game, it wasn't that hard for me either. Now, there was a point where stuff went farther on in my training where I'm like, this isn't funny at all, this just sucks. And it, that, that would challenge me to my core, but basic training was a little bit of a joke to me. Uh, I couldn't stop smiling, I would always smile. And so I'd get, uh, as much as I tried to be the gray man in these uh, various training uh, places, uh, I'd get called out of formation. There'd be like hundreds of soldiers out there and one drill sergeant, he'd be like, love all. Lovell! And I'd fall out, moving sergeant, and he's like, look at this, Lovell. I have gum on my boot. Sorry, G I'm sorry, drill sergeant. And I'm like, that's right, you put it there, didn't you, Lovell? Uh, I'm like, uh, yes, I did, drill sergeant. And I'm like, I knew you did. Get this gum off my boot. And I'd have to stand there and pull the gum off of his boot, and I'd... <laughs> It's just stupid, funny stuff. Even in war, the stuff that I really remember, you know, the, the, the hardcore missions, it all kind of just kind of feels like a fog. But what I remember is the really stupid, funny stuff. Um, uh, imagine clearing an objective for just hours and hours, and you forgot how long ago it was when your muscles uh, and your cardio just said, I'm done, and still, somehow you kept going. Um, and I, I'd love to play this joke on, on uh, other dudes with me, and then it ended up uh, coming back to me as well. But we can take, like, sometimes big rocks and, and, and put it in a buddy's uh, rucksack. So you're doing some 15-mile march or something, and then somewhere halfway through, you pull it out, and there's this big rock with your <laughs> name on it, and you're already in such misery. The fact you've been carrying around this dead weight because <laughs> your buddy screwed you. Uh, 
somehow it makes it all worth it. I remember uh, clearing for just hours and looking into my kit and pulling something out, and there was this rock in it with my name on it, Lovell, and a heart around it. I'm like, you, you bunch of punks, <laughs> you suck. But I remember just that bit of levity uh, in that moment to be able to help carry you on and sustain. Uh, different uh, missions where I remember uh, there was this uh, early on you always feel like you know you have these pipe dreams of what you would do and so uh, when you're younger you know I remember one mission had like 11 magazines on me I thought maybe World War three was gonna break out and I was gonna single-handedly end it uh, uh, by myself <laughs> didn't use any of those magazines, uh, that particular mission. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, there was, uh, you know, you kind of have that uh, newer, greener idea where uh, it's just kind of a pipe dream. There's this one dude, and he had like uh, a thigh-mounted ma battle axe with throwing knives as well. <laughs> so I just remember this in kind of like a debrief, and it was like this really serious moment where he got back from this mission, and he was like, all right, man, uh, we all made it back alive, and I think we can all agree it's because specialist whoever's uh, throwing knives. Uh, so let's all thank him. And it's just like utter ridiculousness, and I guess it's kind of like uh, you'd have to be there a little bit more. But um, to me, it was at least funny. Uh, another thing is, uh, remember, uh, and it's just this stupid stuff, and it wouldn't be funny to hear it now, but when you're kind of all jacked up with fear or despair, uh, just a little injection of levity can really do an incredible amount to strengthen resolve. Um, there was a, I was, uh, you know, we're switching out on a, a different security post and I went up because uh, it was my turn and somebody was there right before me and I looked and saw the handiwork of what the guy right before me had been doing on uh, on his guard shift and he had etched into the rock cowboy butts drive level nuts <laughs> this isn't this isn't something he wrote on the rock this is something he etched in the rock so somewhere over in a third world uh, crappy country we were at war with is etched in rock still cowboy butts drive level nuts so um there you know that now go go find the rock <laughs> so um uh you know I, I think there's something real here something important here and uh you know i think about uh comedians as well a lot of the funniest guys around, like uh, Jim Carrey, uh, Robin Williams, who died recently, uh, when you look at their interviews, a lot of times they'll talk about uh, their childhoods and their backgrounds, which is just infused with horrible pain. And so they used comedy as a way to cope. They used comedy as a way to uh, bring strength to others. And I think that's absolutely true. If you, if you take your own misery so seriously, it's going to kill you. It's going to destroy you. And there's something that's very powerful about a good sense of humor. Uh, it shows the flexibility needed because if you're just so hardcore and stoic, you're eventually going to snap. Uh, misery, misery can destroy people. It, it can cripple and maim you, but it really depends on how you deal with that misery as well. Uh, some folks will be broken by their misery and their fear, their hopelessness. Uh, and other people will be strengthened by it. But misery doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can also uh, give you good character. Um, it can uh, strengthen camaraderie and bringing people together. Uh, and it can toughen you up, which is a good thing. Go be miserable and laugh about it a little bit. This is a public service announcement for you guys. Go be miserable and enjoy it. See ya.